Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to Lightroom Vlog. It's Friday, so it's Photo Friday. And we're going to take a look at the new beta for On One Raw 2018. So I'm a little bit late today because I was waiting for the beta to come out. So this is literally my first look at it. So folks, we're going to take a look at On One Raw 2018, the beta, which is available now from onone.com. So I have a set here of images that I would use for general kind of edit stuff. So if we take a quick look here at some of the things that are new in it, we can see that we have HDR and panel stitching. So I'm going to do them and then it has things like luminosity masks. So I'm going to have a quick look and see what's going on with those and some versions. Now the plan here isn't to be extensive. This is literally a first look. So I just want to see if the panel is as quick as they say and if the HDR preview is as quick as they say. Uh, it's looked very impressive in the video so far. So let's see it for myself. So these are some images that I would normally use. So now I got to figure out where we do this now. So boom, boom, boom. merge to panorama. There we go in the file menu. So I'm just looking for it because I haven't seen it. This is, like I said, this is literally my first look. So creating a mask, creating a warp, boom. That is quick. That is very, very, very quick. It's also seemed to have warped the edges a little bit to make it all fit. That looks great. All right, so now I'm gonna click save because that was, that was impressive. Now that obviously saves and will take a time to create because of the fact that it's, you know, actually creating it. Um, that's the thing from just the preview, but that preview speed was very, very impressive. I'm actually very, very impressed with that. And loading. So I'm going to let that load. And then what we'll do is we'll go and we'll have a look at the HDR and see how the HDR does. Again, it'll be a, a HDR that I would use for normal stuff as well. So, okay. Uh, so the menu bar appears to have finished here as well. So let's hope it goes quick. Now, because of the fact that this is the first look, I'm not going to be doing the tight edit on this. This is just going to be pretty much a stream of consciousness as well. So whatever, however slow it is. This is on my old machine, by the way. This is on the uh, Mac Pro at 2018. At, I said 2018, 2008. Um, so now it's creating the PSD. So that's actually pretty fast, okay? So now if I want, if I click there, develop, it'll open and it'll allow me to make changes. So it is a PSD file, so it's now a rendered file. Uh, in Lightroom, this would be a DNG file, uh, but I can still do a fair amount of stuff with it. I would say shadows, highlights. I'm just seeing what the speed is like, because this is obviously going to be a pretty big file now. Um, so brightness a little bit and what do we have? Detail. Let's go for low amount of detail. It does have some lens corrections automatically built in. Okay, so that's fine. So yeah, that's pretty good. So let's go back out to browse. I'm kind of having to duck down to look underneath my mic stand here. And I'm gonna grab some uh, HDR, so they've selected. Now create HDR is here as well. So I'm gonna click create HDR. One, two, three four five six boom that is quick that is impressive now we have some tone and color stuff here as well pull down my highlights open up my shadows a little bit increase the structure a little bit it's got a dehaze kind of a function here i'm going to pull this down and just hdr look as well so let's go for surreal i actually hate surreal uh, we'll go for natural i'm going to bring up the clarity detail back a little bit oh maybe not that much so I'm just gonna click uh, save here folks this is pretty impressive I am pretty impressed with the speed of that that you know sometimes you see uh, video tutorials and the images have been picked so that it looks like it's gonna be really really good but this has actually been pretty impressive so far now the difference of course with the HDR is that it's saving its own uh, raw 32-bit file basically so effectively we still have all of the raw detail in it and saving layers and there we go okay and it's an on one photo file so and that's automatically then opened up into develop 
so we can do some more work on it. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now it has done some differences that uh, I, I know as well, like in a lot of other HDRs it wouldn't include that these are streaks from the birds and stuff like that. So it has included those as well, but that's pretty cool. Browse, so let's have a quick look at what, the, what some of the other things were. Versions, okay, so let's have a look at versions. So let me do that and see where we go for that. Create version, I was guessing it would be in settings. So this is a new version then, obviously. So I'm gonna click develop and I'm just gonna... Version's obviously been created. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab saturation and pull it down. And I'm gonna get contrast and pull it up a bit. And I'm gonna just brighten the highlights to change the skin a bit. Bring up, up over the overall exposure as well because I want the skin to be lighter. I just like lighter skin for these black and whites. Just see what's happening by as I move stuff. A bit less structure. Okay, so that's a version. So now I'm gonna go back to browse and see if it appears in browse. So I just click there to go back to that. And we see we have two of them there. Okay, so that's interesting there. Uh, what else do we have? I'm not gonna go through all of these things um, with, with the masking and stuff like that because I just wanna see what's in it basically. The UI does look nice, but you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab an image and just do a general process on it. Um, so let's go for, let's go for this image here and go into develop. So in this case, I'm just gonna do some kind of work on it first. So um, I don't mind the haze in it because of the fact that it is uh, a landscape and I kind of do want that. I'm gonna bring up some uh, structure as well and vibrance, kind of a mix of vibrance and saturation. Okay, that's cool, I'm liking that. I'm gonna bring up the overall, expo what I'm doing is I'm just trying to see how quickly it does stuff. Okay, I'm gonna pull back some highlights now and open up the shadows and bring down the black so we have a black point. Just if I click info, levels. Okay, so all right. That's why I'm just seeing that there is some definite blacks in there. And let's see what I do have. Let's see what, if I do try to remove the haze. Okay, yeah, seems to be doing an okay job of that. And it seems to be keeping up as well. All right, so a low amount of sharpening. I'm gonna zoom in, 200%, that looks okay. And so, view, a uh, short preview is backslash, okay. Okay, so you're seeing the difference that it's making there. So we can see that it does have a lens profile and it's applied it automatically. Now, what am I thinking here is, Can we heal? Okay, so yeah. Oh, so I didn't do that. I clicked and it just kind of dragged away with me when I moved. Okay, so you kind of have to hold it on it. Otherwise it drags with it. Just, I'm on a Wacom pen. So I'm just seeing that it is kind of dragging there a little bit. So I'm deliberately holding it in one place so that it's not jumping over with me too much. And so those are a few. Now I'm looking around to see if, what do we have here? Just trying to see if there was some kind of, uh, something similar to visualize spots. That's the mask, okay. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go look for some presets then. So let's look at the landscape presets. I actually like this autumn one a little bit. even though it's a little bit more muted, but I just like the warmer tones in it. Although it seems to be very not sharp in comparison to what I was doing a minute ago. And click on that to turn it off. How do I go back to the, okay, view maybe? All right, okay, yeah. Maybe I don't like it in close after all. Apple Z to go back to where I was, but it's, it's shown me that I really do want to warm it up a little bit. So let's have a quick look. Selectively add or remove noise. Brush away noise in area. Okay, all right. Noise. So 
so let me see if I can see noise. Local adjustments. So what we have here? Noise. Okay. Paint. Okay, so let's just paint. Oh no, that's a graduated one, so okay. Interesting. Yes, I am just looking around to see what's going on. Paint for color. Oh, let's not do that. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, adjustment. So you obviously have to choose the type of local adjustment. So that is it's a brush. Okay, well, that's a brush. Okay, so we'll do it with a brush. Right. And so the bracket key works. And let's bring in some exposure, which I don't want. And just noise. Just pull a noise is what I was doing. Just want to see what it's doing. I, I'm not trying to see if it's actually doing anything. I just want to see if it, the local adjustment is working. Okay, that's yeah. I'm obviously doing something here because it's, it's blurred it a little bit. So if I bring this up, if I do it the other way, it'll, it'll add noise. Okay, so yeah, I'm quite clearly seeing the change here. So folks, that has been a very quick look at some of the new stuff. Now, like I say, it's only just me looking at it for the first time, so it's literally a first look. But I'm very, very impressed with the HDR speed, and I'm very, very impressed with the panel speed. Even in the creation phase, after you've done the preview, it still looked really, really good. And that's bearing in mind that this is on an old machine, and it will be faster on my iMac, which I just haven't basically swapped into this position, so that I can do all of my edits basically from this position here. Uh, it's currently sitting on the counter in my kitchen. So, yeah. On one, I'm going to have a bit of a play with it and I will do some more videos on it as I get a chance. So that's been Photo Friday, folks. If you want to subscribe, you will see all of the stuff I put out. So stuff on Tuesdays about Lightroom and then like Fridays, Photo Friday could be anything. But I will be doing additional bonus videos as well. And I do put out bonus videos too. So uh, like the video if you like the video. Obviously, hit the thumbs up uh, and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified. Thanks for taking the time to watch this, folks, and I will see you in the next video.